Hey, good morning. It's uh, Saturday, January 29th, 2022, and this is Cafe Devo. Coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church at the point of Saginaw and Washtenaw in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, hanging out here once again with my pal Bugsy, and I hope your Saturday and your weekend are going well. We're continuing to read this week from the book Truth for Life. It was written by one of my favorite preachers, Alistair Begg. It's copyright 2021, uh, good book publishing. Romans chapter 5, verse 10. If while we were enemies who were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more now that we are, are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. God is not a kindly grandfather or a cosmic Santa Claus who just gives out gifts and who is really not much concerned with anything else. No, he is holy and he is righteous. So humans, because of our sin, are alienated from God. A hostility exists between humanity and our creator. This is not a message that you hear very often. And it's certainly not very palatable. But God does not overlook that hostility. He never has, and he never will. Scripture is very clear on God's disposition towards sin. Indeed, Paul describes human beings as God's enemies, making clear that sin separates us from God. Paul's language that echoes the psalmist's words, which say of God, you hate all evildoers a message that is neither pleasant to read nor easy to understand at first glance. Where then is our hope? How can we ever be reconciled to God? How can God punish sin as it deserves and yet still pardon sinners? Jesus, by his death on the cross, satisfied God's justice. He took upon himself both our obligation to perfectly obey God's law and our liability for failing to do so. He then satisfied our obligation through his sinless life and canceled our liability by his sacrificial death upon the cross. When our alienation from God resulted in God's hatred toward our sinful existence, he did not abandon us. Rather, God came and reconciled us through his son. If this does not sound like the most incredible news of all, we have not properly understood the seriousness of our sin or the reality of his judgment or the magnitude of our salvation. For those of us who have been Christians for a while, it is easy for familiarity to breed, if not contempt, then complacency. But the death of Christ is not just the entry point of our faith, it is our faith. So today, pause and see the second Adam, the perfect human, succeeding where the first Adam failed and defeating the devil, reversing the effect of the fall. This is the gospel, my friends. Your sins have been pardoned. You have been rescued. You are now a friend where once you were an enemy. Christ is now your confidence, your peace, and your life. The reality of being in Christ is not a trivial matter. It is an amazing guarantee. When we were powerless in the face of sin, Christ's power set us free. When we could not afford a debt so great, he bore it on the tree. 1 Peter 2, 24. You are now seated with him in the heavens. Your greatest success today will not lift you higher than he has already lifted you, nor can your greatest struggle or failure pull you down from there where he holds you. For further reading on this topic, check out Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 through 23. And Father, how we thank you for this day, for this Saturday. We thank you for days of rest like this. We thank you for the opportunities that it brings. We ask you to bless us, Lord. We ask you to go with us and make your presence known. Guide us and lead us, we pray, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Saturday edition of Cafe Devo. Thanks for clicking the start button. I hope the time has been 
a blessing to you. Before I sign off, I want to remind all of you, First Congregational Church gathers tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. We hope you can join us in person at the point of Saginaw and Washtenaw. If you can't join us in person, come connect with us through Facebook, uh, through our live stream that goes up just a few minutes before 10 a.m. Either way, remember, tomorrow is the Lord's Day, a day of worship. Take some time for that. For now, I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off. God bless you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.